in sub-Saharan Africa, access to grid electricity is only available to about 30% of the population. So we're looking at 70% with no or very erratic or minimal access to AC power, to grid electricity. We're in a township which is in the surrounds of Cape Town, north of Cape Town. It's located in the middle of an industrial area. And it was formed uh, probably eight or nine years ago following some pretty devastating fires. The state stepped in and, uh, and provided housing for those who'd been displaced. And there was significant uh, displacement, again, after two ravaging fires. And what you see around you is typical of the homes that the state has gone and built. Um, but what's fascinating about it is, is, is the kind of natural growth that happens around that. So all around these homes, they've been extended, they've been built on. You've had other people, friends, relatives, building their homes on the same pieces of land to maximize the, the sort of real estate availability. The electrification is done on a share basis, kind of tapped in, spliced either out of the home or spliced from the main supply. And in, the, in itself is quite erratic. In it, South Africa right now, there are several um, capacity issues in general, not just in the developing um, township locations. Indigo is our lighting product. It's a human-powered lantern, also rechargeable from, uh, from, from the wall. But it has two light output sources, as well as two energy input sources. Uh, and specifically, those are a task light and a space illuminator. In the developing world, I think it's almost a life-changing experience where people now have access to light at night. In other words, when the sun goes down, they don't have to go to sleep. Kids can study, they can read, they can communicate, they can gather around the table and socialize. Within 30 seconds or a minute of cranking, I've got more than enough light to see my evening's needs through. Okay, this is my lovely house where I'm standing now. And then my power is coming from outside to inside. I'm using this lid to get power to my house. And then it's coming through my window. So it's dangerous for my children. Yeah, they were taking a long time to come and fix it, to bring it inside, because a lot of people, they've got this problem. Where's your light switch? Where do you turn your no, light switch? No, light switch it. I plug it here. Yeah, and then go. it's on. If you are stuck in an emergency situation, a prolonged blackout, a weather emergency, heaven forbid, uh, terror um, attacks, you're able to re-energize these products time and time and time again, and the longer you crank and the harder you crank, the more you're going to get back. Perhaps in the past, when the sun goes down, life almost stops. You'll find people within an hour of sunset in bed, unless they have the means to be lighting their homes or their communities uh, in other ways.